Are there rip currents on the Great Lakes? And would you know how to spot one? Hi, I'm Chris Hauser, Dean of Science and a professor in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences. And this is my research in 60 seconds. I'm a coastal geomorphologist, which means that I study beaches. Specifically, I look at how coastal systems change during storms and what that means for the resiliency of that system with changes in water level, changes in storm activity, as well as development. And I do that from the north shore of PEI to the Gulf of Mexico to Costa Rica. In addition, we've been doing a lot of work on the Great Lakes to better understand how these coastal systems are changing with the loss of lake ice and what that means for the depositional centers that are ecologically important, like Long Point and Point Pelee, further down drift. I also study beach safety, looking at how to reduce the number of rescues and drownings around the world. And our research has changed legislation in Costa Rica and changed the way in which we warn about beach safety now that brings us back to the question, are there rip currents in the Great Lakes? Yes, there are, and about 50 people a year drown in surf and rip-related incidents. Would you know how to spot one? It's that dark water surrounded by breaking waves on the side. And what do you do if you ever get caught in one? Don't panic, don't fight it. Flip and follow that current out if you can't figure out how to swim to the sides and out of the current. That is my research in 60 seconds. <laughs>